Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the second video in this beautiful series on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing really, really good. Uh, today we're just going to install SFML or set it up, link it as it's called, to a new project in, in uh, Visual Studio like I'm using. Again, I know a lot of you don't like Visual Studio. Uh, it is free though, Visual Studio Express. So if it's not working for you in code blocks for some reason, please just try to use the Visual Studio just for the sake of these tutorials. It's not that hard. If you follow along like I do, it should be easy. So uh, yeah, you could just Google Visual Studio Express just for this series if you want to. Um, otherwise, otherwise, what you do is you just go in SFML and you can choose to download it for code blocks. Now, this is the one I tried with code blocks, but it didn't really work for me properly. I tried all of these as well, but I kept getting uh, that I didn't have this DLL and I was just trying to fix it. It was really a pain in the butt. Um, but you could build it yourself as well. It's not that hard. Just follow the instructions here. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Linux, Mac, everything. Everything is going to work for you pretty much like I coded. So so yeah, just check it out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download uh, Visual Studio C++ for 2017. Just make sure if you are if you have code blocks, I'm going to show you something uh, for code blocks users. Um, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in my folder so I'm gonna put it in my YouTube projects and I'm gonna create a new little I'm just gonna put it right in here just for now just like that while it's downloading what I want to do is I want to open code blocks I want to tell you what to do okay uh, and then we're gonna actually create the project for this series in Visual Studio so uh, but let me just show you this first so you're gonna open up your code blocks blah 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 it should slow as hell um, also this open so I'm just gonna open that folder really quick uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dynamically link SFML okay but what I want you to do is I want you to go into the settings in code blocks and compiler okay so if you're using it make sure that you have uh, G++ follow the C++ 11 ISO standard here clicked in and now is a new C++ 14 standard coming out uh, I'm not 100% sure how to do that, but yeah, I clicked these in. Uh, these should, if you're having problems with Lincoln SFML, these should help. Didn't help me, but they should. Um, also, if you're in release mode, you should you want these optimizations clicked. Basically, you create a new project, right click on the project, and then properties, and then it will say build options. Click on that, and the same kind of thing dialog will come up, but only for your project. And there you can change the same type of options. So just go ahead and check those in. Uh, but for us right now, what we're going to do is we're open in Visual Studio 2017. Now, if you have the Express, Express version, it should be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to name it SFML RPG. And I'm going to just use Windows Desktop Wizard. Uh, if you are on older versions of, of Visual Studio, you probably want to use the Windows Console application thing this is only for Visual Studio 2017 so otherwise use this one okay but we're gonna use this and then I'm gonna put it somewhere that is not my desktop preferably I'm gonna put it in H and YouTube project so I'm just gonna put it right in here uh, select folder and just go ahead and OK so it's gonna give me this dialog now this comes up for older versions of Visual Studio if you click console application but for us you have to click desktop wizard for you to be able to say empty project we're just going to remove pre-compiled headers and security lifecycle stuff. And I'm really, really not 100% sure on what those do. But just click them off because my teacher usually does that. So just do that. Um, and then it will complete this beautiful, beautiful project of ours. Now, since we want to change some stuff in the project properties, what you have to do is you have to create a CPP file first for it to register as a kind of a, a, a project, official, uh, really a project, so you can change the options. Otherwise, you won't be able to change the options. So just go ahead and create a CPP file, empty. It can be completely empty. Now I have a zoom in because I am working for you guys. So, so you can see what's going on, so that seems to be okay. So now when you have a main file, new options will open up here. Otherwise, they won't, okay? So if you're not seeing all of these options, that's because you don't have a CPP file created. Uh, but then you have these options coming up. Okay, What I did was right click and then properties. I think it was project properties. No properties at the end here. So then that comes up. In, in the code blocks, it's pretty much the same. Um, I can create a video for code blocks on how to link. 
there are other videos online about it so you can check those out please do don't don't have to check out my videos on everything um, because a lot of really really talented people out there so uh, check those out um, otherwise like I said get express all right uh, so there we go now what I want to do is I want to go into this where I downloaded my SFML okay I'm just gonna open up the RAR file here and I have my SFML folder now we don't want everything here so I'm gonna create a new I'm actually going to go into my SFML RPG, the one we just created, okay? Uh, and then SFML RPG right here. Uh, or no, actually where your solution is, where your .sln is, okay? For code blocks, that would be CBP, code blocks project. And then you create a new folder, external. I'll just call it external. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it ape shit. You can call it dumbass. You can call it anything you want okay as long as it has a name and you get what it does so basically external is going to keep all the dynamically linked libraries or any type of li not not dynamically what am i saying just any libraries you want to include to your project so basically what that is is you're at the library right and you you have this empty bucket and you're just going to put stuff in that other people have created that we can then use in our project so that that's what sfml is a part of so that's a an api that we're going to use so it has its own little library so we're just making sure that we can use it in our uh, our project okay i hope that made sense so what i did is i'm just copying over lib and include okay just pull those straight in pull those straight in to your project so your sfml folder will have an include and a lib now basically include and lib they're just all the files that specify what sfml does okay it's just sfml code here so we can call these easy functions now one more thing you want to go into bin and you want to get all of these dll's and this is what makes the dynamic linking possible and we're just going to uh drag those in actually where your main file is right here okay so you want to go one step in here where your main and all, any kind of source file is so you just gra grab all of these and just put them in boom just put them in right in there okay uh, so just go ahead and do that. Now, close that down. Now you have everything you need. It's still not linked. The project that you create doesn't know that these things exist yet. That's what we're going to do here. We're basically telling our project that, okay, this is where these extra linked libraries are. You can use them. And then we'll be able to include them. Um, so just go into C++ here. We'll have not active or release. We'll have all configurations. Okay, just make sure that's clicked. Win32 is also in here. Okay, just make sure that you get that. Uh, then we're going to go to C++ general. Um, additional include directory. So that remember we had an include folder and a lib folder. This is additional include directory. So we're going to include, get the include directories. I said that like 10 times. Uh, anyway, just go into your external SFML and just press include once. Don't go in there. Just press it once and you just do that. Okay. There you go. So now you got your include files linked here. Now, one more thing what you want to do is you want to remove all of this before external, before the, the slash here, or whatever you want to call backslash. And then we're just going to make a dollar sign. Okay, just dollar sign. Maybe it's hard for you to see. Solution there. Okay. So basically what I wrote here, I'll, I'll copy that and I'll show you how that looks here in the zoomed in for those of you who need that. It's a dollar sign, and within parentheses, it says solution dir. So the D is big here, and the S is, or I mean capital, S and D are capital. And those are within parentheses. And then I just have external SFML. So basically, that says wherever on the computer my directory is, from that location, external SFML. So this helps you if you're going to move this project around, if you want to send it to someone, it's already linked. They don't have to download SFML or anything. It will be linked on the spot okay you can just like send it to people you can send it around it really makes it easy for you to for you to handle so i like dynamic linking so here you go now that's linked now we need to go ahead into uh linker okay now we're gonna link the uh we're gonna link the lib files additional library directories so that's the lib lib stands for and we're gonna create the new here i'm just gonna I actually copied that so i'm just gonna paste it and I'm going to say lib here. But what you want to do is you actually want to just go to external again, SFML, and then just click lib once and say select folder. But I just pasted that in and changed the uh, include to lib. Okay. And then you have the solution there thingy here as well. 
So I'm going to say OK there. I'm going to say Apply. All right. Now we just have a few things to do. So we have our input here. All right. Now input is going to take these library files that are important and it's going to include that for us. So what you want to do is you will still want to have it on all configurations, but you want to say SFML. I don't know if I can, I can uh, zoom this in. No, I can't really zoom that in. But anyway, SFML. And also, let me see if I'm recording here. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, we're fine. SFML. It says F SFML dash. Uh, and then we're going to say graphic graphics dot lib. Okay. And then SFML um system dot lib and then sfml audio dot lib now if you aren't code blocks the order here is very important it is pretty much important here as well because some of these depend on other things right so they depend on each other so the order you include them here can be important so just remember that check their home page if we just go in there let me see if i have the sfml home page yeah here we go so if we go into learn let me just show you that quickly uh to tour yeah tutorials and then we'll go into code blocks for example and we'll just look at this so graphics window system okay graphics window system i'll keep the order here uh sf ml graphics window and system okay i'm pretty sure it's like this then because audio should come before sfml window dot lib audio and then sfml network dot lib okay so graphics dot lib audio dot lib network dot lib window dot lib and system dot lib i'm pretty sure that's how it should be i'm not a hundred percent sure on that graphics window system but it should be and here it says kind of why and why not but that's usually for code blocks if we look at visual studio there isn't really any any order in that in the same sense uh so uh so yeah that should that should be fine anyway once that is done just copy all of these that you just wrote just copy them say okay apply and then change this to debug because debug uses actually you don't have to copy them but you just change that to debug okay and they'll still be here uh, but it will be different debug uses a different type of a system uh, so it uses different library files from the ones that you include for release now the difference between release and and debug is is very simple and still yet very complex because debug you want to pretty much code in debug okay but when you want to test the game and its full potential you want to go into release and let me show you why if we are in debug here you go into general uh, or you, you go into uh, c plus plus optimization it says optimization disabled on debug but if you're going to release it says maximum optimization favors speed so what that does is it applies a uh, compiler optimization to your programs when you're in release mode running here you can change it and that really gives you very, very, very big, a very big speed boost to your program. So it's how it should actually run. Okay, so everything is optimized. All the for loops, all the loops, all the type of ways you wrote stuff. Everything is very much compiler optimized. So in the background, optimizes all your code. In debug, it doesn't. So it's very raw in that sense. Whatever you're writing, that's what you're getting. Okay, so just make sure we have debug and release and they're different. Usually we'll be in debug, but I'll tell you when we change to release to try it out. You can do it. Feel free to do it whenever you want. Uh, but there you go. So now you have everything included and linked. Um, basically, what I wrote was sol how how was it solution solution there. Okay, it said like that it was a backslash x ex external include for example it was like that okay it looked like that and then the sfml things were s i can't just paste them here so this is how they looked okay without the spaces okay that's how it was okay just make sure you copy these things in there if you couldn't really see them uh, what we're going to do is we're going to include sfml now we can find them see we can find them so it's linked proper, properly properly uh, graphics.hpp okay so you want to go ahead and include that uh, and then you wanna, these are just SFML things, but the standard libraries, we just wanna make sure we include uh, IO stream here. And if you're on, uh, and also wait, include C time. And if you're on, uh, what do you call it? Code blocks or any other compiler Linux, you probably also wanna include uh, STD 
stdlib cstdlib okay and that's for the system things we're going to use we're going to be calling bash files and stuff i'm going to explain everything it's not too complicated uh, so you, it will be kind of fun okay so but we just want to create a very simple int main here return zero and we just want to make sure system pause so this is what you wanted pause this is what you wanted stdlib for okay and we're just going to say std c out hello world okay which is just, just a nice little test okay and a little new line here so there you go it's a very simple program we're just gonna run it just to see if it works and hopefully it will we're in debug remember just stay in debug okay so hello world okay uh and that's good we won't be using the console a lot but for this uh we we shall just to try printing out stuff so i'm going to remove the system pause okay now what i'm going to do before we end the videos, I'm going to go ahead into SFML here, learn tutorials. You can use this for code blocks or Visual Studio. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going into Visual Studio and I'm going to copy paste this code here that they wrote nicely for us. And it's just a test code to see if SFML is running and everything's fine. So you already have an int main. Actually, I'm just going to remove our old int main and just write paste that in. So there you go. We create a window, SFML. Now you can change the title here, okay? For those of you who haven't watched the, the what do you call it? tutorial on SFML, please go do because I explain everything in detail. But basically render window is the window will get as soon as you create it and you say clear and display it will be shown. Okay. And then you can render stuff within it here like I'm drawing out the shape that I created uh, to the window and it should always be between clear and display and these things will go through as we go on. But basically this is just to see if it works. Let me run it. It should say SFML works. Uh, and it should be a green little circle here and it was okay so sfml is working and we're fine i'm just going to change the title to uh, c plus plus sfml rpg boom easy peasy i'm going to change this to 800 and 600 to the video mode how large the window is going to be so basically now when i run it the window should be a little larger yep it is okay and we have the event so if you can't Click the X, that's because this isn't being called. So the SFML events here. The event close says when we press the X, it will close the window. So there you go. There's a very basic little SFML installation, okay, for Visual Studio. And if you're having problems, please check out the Discord. Please ask me questions there. Ask people who are already working in code blocks. Look at code block installation videos or Linux for that matter. It's not that difficult. There is a video in the beginning uh, of my other series I guess you can just search for it. it's called how to set up uh, uh, projects and stuff for uh, Linux and C++ just look for that and code blocks and, and I'll explain what the differences will be pretty much in the coding styles um, between Visual Studio and the other ones because Visual Studio is very specific in some t in some things uh, so just check that one out hopefully uh, that will help you out if you're having problems but otherwise it should be fine thank you so much for all the support and watching Hopefully this helped you out and we'll just get started with the game as soon as, as this is done. All right. And, and we'll we'll just go through as much as a female as I possibly can without it being too slow. So thank you again. Take care. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Also follow me on Twitter, Discord, uh, my support page. Please check that out also in the, dis in the um, uh, description. And just follow me there if you want to, if you can. That will really help me out. All the support really helps me out. Uh, so thanks, take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.